for the opportunity to appear in front of you um, once more. Thank you to Council Member Sattel um, for asking for a report on the WCPO article involving discipline. I'm sure there's some people that may have some concerns, so I'm going to address that very briefly here tonight. WCPO surveyed law enforcement agencies around Cincinnati and published the results in a November article on police discipline. The article contains a database for discipline in which the Lovell Police Department has the highest documented discipline per officer. WCPO states that these are bad examples. I disagree. Many people tend to relate discipline with bad behavior and punishment. That's not the purpose of discipline at all. The purpose of discipline is not punishment, it's growth. I would be surprised if you had heard of the Ohio Department of Discipline and Punishment. However, I think some of us have probably heard of the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. The first and most important of our three core values is integrity. Integrity demands that we honestly evaluate our performance. Our second core value is continuous improvement. This demands we evaluate our performance all the time. And we do this for our third and final core value, customer-oriented service. We honestly and continuously assess our own performance to deliver the best service possible for our community. This is what discipline is for LPD. It's growth. And our discipline record is clear evidence of our commitment to these three values. According to the WCPO article, 84% of LPD discipline is related to performance and policy compliance. 67% of LPD discipline is resolved through counseling and training. In summary, I'll leave you with a short story. Officer Amy Campbell previously worked at the Springdale Police Department but gave up her career to help her growing family. After years, she went back to the police academy a second time so she could return to police work. She came to Loveland in January of 2014. Then she wrecked two LPD vehicles in six months while on probation. At fault accidents are very serious in law enforcement. LPD could have given her a suspension or released her from probation, but we didn't. At LPD, we actively look for growth opportunities, so we analyzed the accidents and we found something very interesting. Both accidents were backing at slow speeds while in a Ford Crown Victoria sedan. You see, at five feet, three inches tall, Officer Amy Campbell, who was sitting in a broken down driver's seat of a Ford sedan, couldn't see out the back window. So we moved her to a sport utility vehicle. At this point, I probably don't have to tell you how many accidents she's had since that time. But for the record, it's zero. <clears throat> Amy Campbell would go on to join our field training program and receive training in crisis intervention. In 2016, Officer Amy Campbell would use that training and receive the Gallantry Star for lifesaving. At LPD, we take opportunities to improve our service very, very seriously. And I guarantee there will be more discipline. LPD is a great team, but we're human. We're imperfect, we make mistakes. But we will always, always value continuous improvement to deliver the best service possible for Loveland. I'm happy to discuss this or any other issue more in depth at any time. Please call or email. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Chief.